Marine Tech's Ocean Laboratory has just completed tests of a floating wind turbine model using a completely new method. It was a big challenge actually to set everything up and to make it uh, work as planned, but uh, in the end we managed and then we were even able to push the system a bit further and further and see where their, the limits are. Um, we were able to do tests that uh, we believe no one has been able to do before, so it was, very, it was a big challenge, but we managed to do it and uh, we were very happy uh, now. The model was subjected to powerful actual waves and winds of up to 25 meters per second produced by real-time simulators. This method is known as hybrid testing. The, the biggest challenge here uh, was how to model the wind in the, to test this uh, floating offshore wind turbine. So we decided to not install a wind tunnel, but we decided to use a, a hardware in the loop system. So we have a simulation program that's taking the position of the wind turbine and that is simulating the forces. And then we apply the forces on the wind turbine in real time uh, during the tests. So the waves are real, but the wind is simulated, and both are talking together in real time. I think it's really interesting to see that there is development on ways to test things. It's a very complex lost building that will go on a wind turbine, and often it can be complicated and expensive tests. And if you can manage to simplify it with the help of hybrid methods, so it's really good. We have the full water depth here, so it's. 200 meters full scale, 6.66 meters now in the basin. NTNU students and representatives of industry watch the model tests, which should help to make ocean energy more efficient and competitive in the future. Here today is a special flight wind for dirt. It's not a commercial seabart. The cost per kilowatt time is for high. Det er påkrevd at det blir nye løsninger på dette her.